get by. Go! I'll cover you. No, you were right. The Wardens caused this mess. A Warden must... A Warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Borg. Say goodbye to Varric for me. Hi. Always the maker death. <laughs> No demon army for Corypheus, it appears. The divine, or her spirit, was right. You know that's not how they see it, though. And they just saw their Inquisitor work another miracle. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like. I suppose the Inquisitor and his warden friend escaped by the skin of their teeth wouldn't be as good for morale. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is the Champion? Hawk is not with us. Hawk sacrificed his life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. The champion is gone. He gave his life, not because he'd sworn an oath or been marked as special, but because someone had to do it. Alistair, you're the senior surviving Grey Warden. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Alistair believes that the Wardens are worth saving. And I trust him. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> After all that, you give them yet another chance? But they hurt people. While they do that, I'll report to the Wardens at Weishaupt. Corypheus won't catch us with our trousers down again. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. Tell Morrigan. Ah. Just tell her I stood there looking foolish.
Alistair sent me one final report. He is on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of the Natori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Hawk and to the Divine. Yes. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he is close to finding another way to enter the Fade. When you have a moment, Colin and Josephine are waiting in the war room with an update. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or her soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She refused to say anything outright. I could have used more direct answers and fewer journeys of self-discovery. She made a lot of people feel that way. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry. I failed you, too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant cast businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A, a delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They're about to kick down the door when Hawk just opened it and invites them all inside. Leandra, Hawk's mother, Make them tea, and for the next two hours tried to get them to make small talk. They wandered out of the house in a daze. No idea what just happened. <laughs> Never came back. Hawk just had that effect on people. I, I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. Well, I guess I've got some letters to write. I should tell Meryl the news. Excuse me. <laughs> 